Well, hello, wellness seekers. It has been a while since I have done a video for my Italy trip. Um, I'm at my new location in Cesole, which is in the Asti region. And um, I just, I, I didn't want to do too much to take away from my experience, but I do want to keep in touch with everyone and let you know the next phase of my trip here. This place that I'm at now is a hotel restaurant. They have a vineyard. They have hazelnuts. They make about 25,000 bottles of wine a year. They have four different kinds of wine, each one named after a different family member, and they have a beautiful story. So the reason I'm here is because they had decided to start something called the Wild Wellness Experience, and they offer massages. Up here is a sauna, over there, that's another ritual room, if you will. There's a jacuzzi and then area to relax in the sun. And then down below over here is another barrel that's going to be the bar for teas and smoothies and things like that. And then there's a pond here, which I'm not going in because there's frogs and other creatures that are out and about and alive and um, I'm not partaking in that. But there are people who go in there in uh, their birthday suits and that's the cold plunge because it is pretty cold after the sauna and the sauna uh, is a three session sauna where the heat gets higher and higher and I believe it is a, a Russian method methodology that they're following so it's been a great experience the owners of this place have owned it for 20 years and I've been helping out right now in the kitchen and doing some serving and getting acclimated when you stay here you get a wine tasting in an exclusive wine tasting room. The, this place is, is beautiful. It was built in the 1800s, I, I think around 1850. And they've really created an amazing experience here. It's super clean and um, very quaint and just beautiful. I'm really very blessed to be here. How about the language, Maria? Well, thank God just about everybody here speaks English, but I really need to learn Italian so that I can be involved more in the wellness aspect, because that's really why I'm here. And I'm also here to lend all my expertise of the past 20 years of health and wellness and introduce to them a deeper level of understanding and usage of essential oils, which, you know, is my gig. And um, today I gave the owner a raindrop massage, which is a special massage technique using nine different essential oils. And I gave her that so that they are considering putting that on the menu here, which means that I would have an opportunity to do massages here as well. Right now I'm going to be translating one of their flyers that they have for the wild wellness experience. And basically, I'm going to use Google Translate to translate it because a lot of people who come here speak English and they want to be able to cater to the various people who come here. And then in June, she just told me today, how about we plan an event, a retreat here where I can facilitate. 
So all these things are dreams come true. The food is wonderful. It's really cool that they have a, a restaurant here that we could go in and, you know, not help ourselves willy nilly, but, um, you know, there's a lot of different foods that we have access to, not to mention the hazelnut cake and the tiramisu and the panna cotta, which is one of my favorites. Um, so that's really where we're at here. It's just a lovely experience. The people here are so nice and so accommodating and, you know, it's, it, it's really neat that even though the, the various people on staff here, they don't speak English, maybe it's a, a few words, um, what a smile does. You know, we do a lot of smiling and nodding and, you know, sign language and things of that nature. Um, there's a woman that I'm rooming with here, so I don't have my own space, which is cool, but she's from Norway. Her name is Linda, and she is traveling alone like I am doing this woofing experience She'll be leaving after Easter to go to a couple other farms, but we've already taken a bunch of walks because the town is so small, and of course at the end of the walk is a glass or two of Prosecco and a plate of delicious appetizers. It's crazy. Today we went on this 30-minute walk up to this church, Madonna della Neve, and... There's a hotel and a restaurant there. We got a bottle of Prosecco and we got uh, sparkling water and we got a plate of little finger foods. 20 bucks, $20. And I figured out the conversion. It was like $21 and 74 cents. So the prices here are amazing and maybe to the people here they're expensive but for me from the United States and Linda from Norway the prices in Norway and the United States are pretty comparable so we're we're saving a ton of money really half the stuff that we would be doing in the US would be super expensive especially the things that I've been doing. And let's see, what else, what else? Um, a lot of walking. Italians walk. There's a lot of walking happening. And um, just really gracious people. Even the guests here have been super gracious and lovely and you know, as soon as they know I'm American, uh, they they start speaking English, which is really nice because they're adapting to me where I should be adapting to them. And the woman in the kitchen who does most of the cooking, she's from Mexico, but she lives here and she speaks Italian and we probably have the biggest language barrier, but we get things done and we're all very appreciative and gracious of one another. And, um, again, if anyone has an opportunity to do something like this, I highly suggest it. It's really a cool experience and opens your world up in a way that you never imagined and really makes you appreciate the things that you have, especially me from the United States. Um, I've learned a lot about conservation of energy and resources and food. Uh, they hardly throw food out around here. You eat it till it's done, basically, and you make just enough. So that's what I've basically gotten from, and I've been here less than a week. And, um, well, actually a week today is when I got here, and... We're still getting to know each other, but it's, I'm pretty easy going. They're very easy going and I'll let you know what happens as we, uh,
progress here because I should be here till the end of June or longer. Who knows? Anyway, you guys, I'm just a mom bringing you goodness. I hope you're enjoying my journey and all the pictures that I'm posting because they're pretty spectacular. The landscape here is incredible. And um, with that, I'm signing out. Until next time, peace, my friends.